All right, so making it sound good for free, pretty easy. I'm gonna grab re-EQ. Actually, I didn't. I should have prepared it a little tiny bit better. But there's three plugins that I'm gonna use for this. Forgive the fact that there's a fucking excavator outside. I don't know if you can hear that, but he's he's really going to town on that fucking dirt. Uh, yeah, three plugins, very very uh, basic. One's an expander. I was going to use the ReJS expander. Uh, full disclosure, I've recorded this one time already, but uh, the 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 whole smorgasbord of like Mexican background noise happened. Like the my mother started losing her mind, the baby started crying. A vacuum cleaner. There's an excavator. It was just ah, we recorded, <laughs> but um. I'm using this instead, ATK Expander. It's a better expander than the one in ReJS. And then instead of using Recomp because it's a dog shit compressor, I'm just gonna use LadMax, which is just a fucking limiter, right? You don't need a compressor, realistically. You just, you, I'd prefer, I prefer going into a limiter instead of using a compressor. You really don't need a compressor. Uh, sure, I mean, it helps, but if you can just go into a limiter, fuck it, same thing, realistically. You don't need that chunk that people claim you get from an expander, uh, yeah. A compressor. Anyway, basic. Uh, I'm gonna start off with an EQ, right? So we'll do that, and we'll move over to these in a little bit. Pretty simple. I always start off with a high shelf or a high pass. I mean, my bad. I'm gonna turn the cue down until this line is flat, maybe just to get a tiny bit of chunk. I mean, bring it up a bit. I want to put this to 65 hertz instead of. Uh, realistically, I would do 55 hertz, right? But um, I find that uh, the expand or the re EQ the numbers aren't exactly dead on how they say they are, so I'm actually going to put it to 65 hertz instead. And so, basically, the point of that, if I tap my desk, you don't hear much. But if I tap it, put that on, you hear a bunch of bass that you don't really have in your voice, unless you're like Corpse Husband, which really come on. Who, who, who watches these videos that actually sounds good, right? But, um, including me. <laughs> so basically, I'm going to turn up uh, this frequency so you can hear, like, why I do this. Basically, there's, there's frequencies in my voice and in most male voices, and you can hear this, right? You can very clearly hear that there is a muddy frequency right there. That's what that term is to describe that. Boxy, muddy, right? I'm going to turn that down by, say, two and a half decibels, right? Just to get that uh, really annoying, muddy frequency out of there. I also hear a bass frequency that I don't like. So I'm going to add a, uh, a band there, put it to like 115 hertz, right? Crank the cue on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Listen to that super annoying bass. Yeah, mud. We don't like that. We don't like uh, a bunch of bass. I know so there's some people out there who like putting a bunch of bass in the microphone. Don't do that. <laughs> it just makes you sound like shit, dude. Um, okay, moving on. In my voice, right, there's a frequency around like 890. That is very, very uh, infuriating to listen to. You can hear it. It sounds like I'm talking into a can, right? So I also find that I turn that one down a little more than the other ones. I'll do like three and a half, right, just to, to be like... <sighs> on top of that, there is a frequency in my voice that I really don't like. Around 500 hertz, we will... Extra, uh, go go to town, really fucking tuning that right there. Um, we can hear uh, uh, right there. Uh, this this whole area right here, realistically, <laughs> that can go down a bit. So I'm also going to turn that one down a good bit, say like two and a half. I want to open it up a bit. And that's the most that I'm going to do with uh, a free EQ, right? If I turn it off, it sounds like this. You can hear all those really annoying frequencies are accentuated. And then when I turn it on, you can hear I've cleaned it up a pretty good bit. And you're you're getting a much less annoying sound, in my opinion. Moving on from that, um, we go to the expander, right? So we started off with a very basic EQ. And now we need to get rid of background noise. So what's, what I'm going to do in this plugin, and I'm going to actually go ahead and just delete it, re-add it, just so you can... We can work from default, right? Because I did edit it a tiny bit. So by default, the threshold's going to be all the way up. We don't want that. Um. <laughs> wow. 
it's actually working pretty decent. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and turn the the release up a bit. Uh, crank the softness. Turn the attack down. Turn up the slope a tiny bit. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Okay. There it is. So now we have uh, background noise removal pretty easily with uh, just very minimal changing. The the uh, yeah. <laughs> um. Okay, so no background noise, easy peasy. And then we go straight into the limiter. And so that means, you know, if I, um, if I turn off the limiter. Okay, well, I'm going to lose a bunch of volume because the limiter is actually boosting my, my volume a good bit. We can go and, um, for the sake of not fucking with it. <sighs> right. Okay, sure. Well, we'll, we'll do this. Let me turn up the gain. On my, uh, turn it up on my, uh, ugh, I don't, I don't like turning it up on my, what you call it here. But if I get too loud, right, you can, you can very, I'm getting too loud. So what I, what I usually do is I'll turn down the gain on my interface, right? And then I'll just turn it up with plugins, right? The reason for that is one. So if I ever yell, I don't clip, right? This can't go into the red. This can't clip because I I don't have it turned down up like crazy. Two, if uh for you know if I have a shitty interface, right? Say I have like a Focusrite or like one of those Behringer like Euphoria UM2s or something, you know I'll I'll get a bunch of background noise from uh not not background noise. I'll get a bunch of uh, preamp noise that nobody wants to fucking hear. Like nobody wants to hear preamp noise. It sounds like shit. It's it's just a light a little hiss and um. Yeah, so that's that's what I do. Turn down the gain a bit on the uh, don't don't like put it all the way fucking like don't do that like put it you can leave it there down a bit, just or you can bring it up a good amount. Just whenever you yell, don't let it go like you know way 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 deep in the red. Also, uh, don't let it clip right. Don't get, let it go over zero. Also, loud max isn't the best limiter, so if you can find a better limiter to use, I would definitely recommend doing that. My maximum output is usually going to be around negative 12 decibels to maybe like negative 8 decibels, depending. I'll probably just cut it in the middle and do negative 10. And the reason for that is just so whenever you're talking to people, they, they get a an even sound. But uh, yeah, that's what I would probably do. I just do a basic EQ, I get rid of the background noise, and then the, uh, expand, the uh, limiter. Comparing that to what I usually use, what I usually use is this, right? Which is the same principle, right? I have one plugin that's pretty much doing all my, my chunky tone stuff. And then I have like a basic uh, EQ, which I just, uh, I do that with both of these right here. This, I have this EQ here, and then I have this expander, and then I have this fab filter to really like fine tune like a couple frequencies. No, 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 no big cuts. We don't want to do big cuts, but uh, and then I also go into a uh, compressor. Just cause, ah, uh, I don't know. I feel like it 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 makes the Ableton limiter run a tiny bit cleaner if you do a compressor first. Other than that, you know, like background noise removal, uh, and like this plugin to add like chunk. But other than that, uh, realistically, you know, if you were really strapped, you know, and you had to use free plugins this would work just fine. Like, I would have no problem using this. I think it sounds good. Uh, the, the, the trick to sounding good, in my opinion, is making care, taking care of your room first, right? So, <laughs> you know, I'm jank with it, so I put blankets on the fucking walls, dude. To, to cut down on reverb, that sounds stupid, but it fucking works, right? If your room sounds like shit, you're going to sound bad. That's just guaranteed. That's just how that fucking works. So I would, I would recommend doing that. And then, uh, you know, other than that, <laughs> just don't, don't fucking eat the microphone. Don't get super close to it. Stay like four or five inches away from it at all times. Make sure you're talking into the front of it. Say you have a blue Yeti. I see a lot of people talking to the top of it, right? If I talk into the top of my fucking Road NT1, does it sound right? No, it sounds like shit, right? If I talk into the back of it, right? If I go behind it, oh no, that's, that's not right. Make sure you're talking to where you're supposed to on your mic. And yeah, it's, you don't have to do a lot to sound good. Uh, hopefully this video is going to help you. If you have any like specific questions, comment them. 
and uh, if you want like a video made or something. And then I also have a Discord server, which is going to be in the description, as well as all these plugins. Like I said, I'm going to link them all. But um, yeah, go do that. Go, go check out my Discord. It's really useful info.